It's another matchday vlog. It is simply the biggest game of the Premier League season. It is Liverpool, it is Manchester City and it is at Anfield. Yes, it is going to be torture today for me. Uh, I will feel violently sick during all of this game, just with nerves because there's so much on the line today. A lot of people probably will be in the camp of do not lose. I am very much in the camp of this is a must win. Uh, I'm so sorry, but if you want to beat Manchester City to the title, you're going to have to take four points out of the two games you face them in the league. That is what I always say. We didn't do it against Arsenal, and yet they are there waiting to capitalise for if either us or Manchester City slip up today. Uh, so yeah, this is a massive game. We've lost the league to them by a point twice before, and in those seasons, I'm pretty sure we had to go the Etihad second. This time round, they're coming to Anfield in a title race, and Anfield is going to be electric. You thought uh, that these other vlogs were going to create an unbelievable atmosphere. Just you wait for what happens today because Anfield is going to be unbelievable. Uh, and before we even get to Anfield, we have a bus welcoming. It's not even 12, but I will be there. I am going in a minute um, and I can't wait for it, to be honest. Uh, I'm more excited than nervous right now, but I do know that during kickoff uh, and 15 minutes before, I will just feel ill because... They're just a ridiculous team, aren't they? Uh, quality absolutely everywhere. Death by a thousand passes. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that Liverpool uh, don't fear this. They're in our backyard. We really need to take the game to them and hopefully we can come out with the win. Um, before we get into the rest of the vlog though, I do have to say a massive thank you to each and every single one of you who donated to Alzheimer's Society and helped my brother and supported my brother in his half marathon. Um, honestly, I said that on the vlog thinking it'd just get brushed past because because Darwin Nunes scored a 99th minute winner, uh, but you didn't brush past it. You just donated, you had words of encouragement, and I genuinely cannot thank you enough for that. We've raised near 800 quid, which is just absolutely ridiculous. So to each and every single one of you, thank you so much. If you did donate, let me know in the comments so I can thank you personally as well. Uh, but enough of that. Um, let's get to Anfield. Let's hope we can get those three points. But either way, let's go and give everything and get behind the Reds. Come on, the Reds. <laughs>
it's our turn, it's 1-0 to City, um, it's such a poor goal to concede to be honest, like City are finding it very easy to pass out from the back, it's one ball into John Stones and he's passed that entire midfield on the half turn, that needs to get a grip of, um, because they're finding it so easy, the little triangles that they're creating and they're just bypassing our midfield. Phil Foden's had Joe Gomez on toast, to be perfectly honest. Um, but we have had good moments. Um, we had a, a spell of dominance, and it's before their goal, and that's the annoying thing. I think it was their second corner, and they caused trouble from the first one, but the second one to get beaten in the post is just hopeless. Um, I'm hearing that there might have been a block, which is a foul. Um, but who really knows? Either way, it's 1 0. We have responded well. Uh, we've had a lot of chances in and around their area. The just lack of quality on the finish or the last touch or the last ball hasn't been good enough. The ball hasn't bounced our way either, to be perfectly honest. But we just need to keep fighting, keep digging deep, hopefully bring Salah on, have a bit more of a clinical cutting edge. I think RBL really is great all right, to be honest. But we need to stop them in transition, just being able to do one ball for our entire midfield. Uh, but yeah, I think we've had the, the better of the chances. Um, but we've just got to start hitting the target at least, making the keeper work and getting all the rebounds if we can. Hopefully, you know, we can do uh, we can improve in the second half. We need a massive 45 minutes. The biggest 45 minutes in Liverpool season so far is coming up next.
I've made it back to the car, Liverpool, draw 1-1 one, one at home to Manchester City. And to be perfectly honest with you, um, we had so many chances in that second half. I thought we completely battered them in that second half. Luis Diaz misses two massive chances uh, in the space of a minute um, when we were really on top. The atmosphere was incredible after, obviously, we got that goal back. Um, and, yeah, it's a little bit disappointing, but it also is Manchester City and they like, hit the post twice, I think. Um, so, you know, you've got to take it into perspective. A draw against them isn't bad, uh, but it does feel, you know, a little bit disappointing because it just felt like we were absolutely all over them in that second half we dug deep uh, Endo I thought McAllister Harvey Elliott Lewis Diaz ran themselves into the ground they were superb today sadly Lewis Diaz just couldn't put it in the back of the net but everything else he gave uh, everything for us um, and by the way I thought on the cop that Liverpool should have had a penalty with the last kick of the game. Um, I've just seen it back and it's a stonewall penalty. I'm really not too sure how Jeremy Doku's got away with that. Um, and yeah, what, what can I say? Like, I feel like we should have just also had a second penalty. Uh, but, you know, a point is a decent point. We'll take that. We've just got to focus on ourselves uh, and keep picking up the three points um, because they obviously play Arsenal in their next Premier League game. So I'm hoping for that to be a draw. But anyway, thanks for watching the vlog until the next one up the reds